I'm Justin Greenaway from Sweep Kuzakoski. We are probably one of the largest waste electronics recyclers in the UK, recycling about 4,000 screens a day and over 2,000 tonnes of the waste electronics you see behind me every month. Um, waste electronics is a fantastic waste stream. It's used some good positive value commodities to go into making the goods in the first place. You know, the, this is positive value waste, which is kind of urban mining in the classic sense. So we're literally making value from a waste stream. So nothing is too complicated to recycle, which is the great news. So literally anything around the house that's electrical can be recycled. first stage is obviously to put the electronics into the plant but before we can even do that we have to actually take out some of the easy to get to nasties. There'll be the battery packs um, that have all these toxins within the batteries and then once we're happy with the electronics we can go in the plant that we then size sort, we hand pick, we separate with magnets, we use an eddy current that kind of is like a reverse magnet almost separating the aluminium away from the plastic. We use a vision system to actually look at the aluminium and see any contamination in the aluminium and remove that as well. So it's a whole sophisticated process that it has to go to create saleable commodities. So if you just think of maybe a basic computer that we might all have under our desks at home, when it comes to us, obviously it's containing a circuit board and metal, we actually have to separate all of those commodities and we do that automatically, we literally spin it apart, we use the force of computers hitting other electrical gadgets to take apart the electronics and that will be deconstructed into its metals, also precious metal content within the circuit boards, the plastic, and within the circuit board itself every single electronic component communicates via a copper track, but equally the very complicated parts have gold, they, they use the goal to actually make sure there's no data loss but obviously when you fill up bags and bags of this for refining which we do then you, you make money from the circuit boards as well the, the way we recycle TV glass there's a, a global problem at the moment with cathode ray tube glass it has about 20% lead content amazingly we have a furnace process here that literally melts the lead out of TV glass so one kilogram of lead will come out of every single TV recycle and amazingly that's about 4,000 a day um, from a design point of view, there's been some interesting experiments previously about maybe making uh, computer cases out of bamboo. And you can imagine, unless we're doing all the computers with all the bamboo at the one time, that bamboo would end up as a contamination in our plastic. So, as, as a marketing experience, as, I guess it, it, it was value for money, but from a recycling point of view, it's quite complicated. What would really help us is actually identifying the hazardous content very clearly within the electronics in a positive way, because I appreciate a consumer wouldn't want to see hazardous batteries contained within this product stand back, uh, but it's more about being able to let us know in an in a industry language way that within this TV maybe there's some mercury content that we have to handle particularly uh, sensitively. As a, as a country, we're doing pretty well compared to the rest of Europe. We all have to comply with something called the WE Directive, which means right now we need to be working towards a 45% of what actually gets sold. And as a country, we're doing about 30%. Every single product sold now has a crossed out wheelie bin on it. My big message, I guess, would be that it's, it's a, there's some huge valuable commodities within this waste electronics, and it's almost obscene for us to be letting it go into our general household waste site. So something like a gold or palladium or silver, there's only so much actually physically on this planet. If we lose it into landfill and make it very very hard for us to recover it and use it again so getting above that 30% would be fantastic and then obviously legally we need to be working towards that 45% target